The action of 5 November 1813 was a brief naval clash during the Napoleonic Wars between part of the British Mediterranean fleet led by Vice Admiral Sir Edward Pellew, and a French force under Rear Admiral Julian Cosme Ocur Julian. The engagement took place outside the French port of Toulon. The clash occurred when a French fleet under Vice Admiral Maxime Julian Emery Raoult de Beauvera took advantage of a favourable wind and the temporary absence of the British blockading force to leave port to carry out exercises. Emery Raoult abandoned the exercises when the wind changed, but while returning to port his rear came under attack from the recently returned British inshore squadron. The British attack was reinforced by newly arrived ships from the main fleet, but the French were able to escape into Toulon after exchanging cannon fire with the British. Casualties on both sides were light. Background The French Mediterranean fleet had been blockaded in their principal base at Toulon for several years. Their commander from early 1811, Vice Admiral Maxime Julien Emery Raoult de Beauvera made occasional sorties from the port in order to exercise his fleet, but preferred to avoid any chance of action with the patrolling British fleet under Vice Admiral Sir Edward Pellew. Emery Raoult instead preferred to make brief sorties when the wind was in his favour and the British were absent, undertake exercises and then returned to Toulon when Pellew's fleet appeared. Pellew in turn hoped to tempt the French out and then cut them off from their home port, forcing a decisive battle upon them. To this end he kept the main part of his fleet, including his largest ships, some distance from Toulon, and relied on a small inshore squadron composed of 74 gunships to maintain the blockade. Strong gales in late October 1813 had forced both the inshore squadron and the main battle fleet off their stations, and Emery Raoult decided to make a sortie to exercise his fleet off Cape Sichier. The French fleet, consisting of between 12 and 14 ships of the line, six frigates and a schooner duly put to sea at 9.30 a.m. on the morning of 5 November. Emery Rao, flying his flag aboard the Imperial, was assisted in his manoeuvres by a strong east-northeast wind and made for the usual exercise area. The British inshore squadron, commanded by Captain Henry Heathcote, had only arrived back on their station the night before, and the main British fleet under Sir Edward Pellew was some distance to the south. Heathcote, commanding four 74 gunships, was observing the French movements, when at 11.30 a.m., the wind suddenly changed direction, shifting to the northwest. Concerned about the sudden arrival of the British and unfavourable winds, Emery Rao abandoned the exercises and ordered the fleet to make for Toulon. The advanced squadron of the French fleet, commanded by Rear Admiral Julian Cosme Ocur Julian and consisting of five ships of the line and four heavy frigates, now found itself to leeward, beating back to port. Heathcote immediately saw a chance to cut off the French rear and ordered his squadron to attack. Engagement. Heathcote, commanding HMS Scipion, took his ship in and at 12.34 p.m. passed the French rear, firing on them with her port guns. As the French stood in for Toulon on the starboard tack, the rest of the squadron, joined by the 74-gun HMS Pompey from Pelou's fleet, followed in succession. The British ships then turned about and tacked across in the opposite direction, cannonading the fleeing French with their starboard batteries. At 1 p.m. the advance ships of Pelou's fleet, HMS Caledonia, HMS San Joseph and HMS Boyne arrived and opened fire on the rearmost French ship, the Wagram. The British ships tacked in war, exchanging fire with the French until the wind carried Cosme Ocur Julian's squadron under the safety of the shore batteries covering the approach to Toulon. Casualties and damage on both sides were light. On the British side, 12 men were wounded by French fire, while one man was killed and another two wounded in accidents bringing total British casualties to 15. Caledonia sustained a shot to her main mast and three or four in her hull, as well as some damage to her shrouds and backstays. 
her launch and barge were also destroyed. The French had a total of 17 men wounded to varying degrees, mostly aboard the Agamemnon, which suffered damage to her masts, hull and rigging, and had nine men wounded. The Bury had her wheel shot away, and the frigates Penelope and Melpomene were damaged in their sails, masts and rigging. Pellew sailed for Menorca soon afterwards, reducing the inshore squadron to a minimum, but Emmerirau declined to come out. Order of Battle Citations Carrot ABC Woodman The Victory of Sea Power P. 55 Carrot AB James The Naval History of Great Britain P. 153 Carrot ABC DEFG James The Naval History of Great Britain P. 154. Carrot ABCD Woodman. The Victory of Sea Power. P. 56. Carrot ABCDE James. The Naval History of Great Britain. P. 155.